Hey, what's going on guys? It's Richard Boyable. I'm back, finally back, after a month of inactivity. I do apologise for that, I have been really busy, but hey, enough with that. Um, we don't need to go into detail with that, uh, but pretty much I'm going to do episode 3 of the Forza Horizon car showcase. So, here I'm displaying my uh, uh, Mazda RX-7 Gears of War styled. Uh, this is mainly one of my best drift cars, and I do apologise guys, but I am full of cold, and I think I might be full of flu, but as you can see as we're going around the car, the lights, and the bodywork, I think this thing, I mean, I can't actually open up the engine or the back, but it's going to be pretty much a little bit of a short one, so, like, good wheels there, um, we're going to go inside and we're going to rev this engine for you now. So as you can see, it does sound quite powerful to be ex especially, yeah, sorry, uh, expressively a tuner. Uh, but it is a very powerful car having at least 700 to 800 horsepower. I mean, this car is in style, drifting. If you want a good drift car, the RX-7 is the number one choice for the simple fact it's like a goddess drift car. It's like the goddess of all drift cars. I mean, to me, it, if it was a woman, it would make a fantastic woman in my life. But yeah, matte paintwork of Gears of War 4. I mean, I haven't actually played Gears of War 4 yet myself, but I mean, in all fairness, this car is just a beautiful car. I mean, the headlights, the, the bodywork, the wheels, everything just goes spot on. Now, if I'm honest with you, there is an option to put a V8 engine in there, but just my personal preference, I didn't put it in because I didn't want it to be more like a muscle car. I mean, you can put bodywork on it, body kits and everything. I mean, this car, for me, is the number one drift car, as I've said. Uh, pretty much, guys, as I said, this is also a tribute as well for a friend of mine in, over in America who's called Robbie, who loves vehicles just as much as I do. But this is a tribute episode to him. He picked the car for episode three for you guys. Oh, yeah. And just a word of warning, guys. If you want this vehicle, you can only do this by doing the street racing events, which is set up by your mechanic in the game. Um, you can buy them off the auction house, but they are expensive and rare to get hold of. I did mine and got mine through doing the street races itself. The car is brilliant. And pretty much, guys... Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in episode 4 and take care of yourself.